Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf, joined today by Michael Geiger here in the tour van at Second Swing Minnetonka. We've got a very fun head-to-head -head comparison uh, because Titleist just released their latest T-Series irons here for 2023, and they did a little bit of uh, switching up with the nomenclature and order mm -hmm. operations in their T-Series. So today we've got the T-150, which is the, you know, well, one of the newest names in the line, right? We've never seen a T-150 iron before. And we have the previous generation T100S. So the T150 actually replaces the T100S in the current T-Series. Um, and we got a lot of questions and a lot of comments from people demanding that we compare these two head to head. So we've got it today, Michael. Um, and I think, you know, I actually, before we started filming here, I was just chatting with a couple of fitters and they have said a lot of great things about the T150, how forgiving and hot it is for an iron that kind of looks like that. So. Um, but your first impressions, I know we've done, you know, a lot of things with Golf WRX here in the last few yeah. weeks, kind of going over their members' choice voting. We've obviously, of course, plenty of reviews and testing. We've had Josh Telgin here as well to give his lowdown. So, um, but T150, what are your first impressions and maybe how it might compare to T100X? Yeah, I'm not surprised to hear that feedback from the fitters. I think just kind of anecdotally online, just the general yeah. vibe among the golf public, the T150 has been one of the trendier releases of this mm -hmm. year. It's kind of that kind of that cheaters player iron where it's, you know, that not that they are lying about their score, but <laughs> right. that it's a player that kind of wants an iron that sort of looks like a player's iron and maybe feels like a player's iron, but has a little bit of that forgiveness. And you'll see that this T150, that there's, there's plenty of room there to, you know, provide that forgiveness that players yeah. want while still adding kind of the feel and performance that they expect. Right. I think, you know, because the big thing Titleist did here was they really size wise, they blended it perfectly between the T100 and T200 in the 2023 T-Series with the 150. Now, with the previous generation, the 100S, that wasn't necessarily the case. The mm -hmm. 100S is a lot more um, closely aligned with the T100 in terms of appearance. And so right. uh, now that they're a little bit, I think people are maybe a little worried or maybe curious about the performance of the T150 lines up closer to the T100 or T200, or maybe if it is just right in the middle of the two. But um, I, this is an iron, I think the T100S even got really trendy as well. Absolutely. In the last couple of years. It you did. Know, as the players, like you said, there's a lot of players that want that compact look, but they still need a little bit of distance maybe, or, or want to keep up maybe with their playing partners, for, yeah. uh, perhaps. And these both of these iron models do that. For yeah, them. and I think maybe some people, they looked at the T100S and, and there was a little bit of maybe confusion of just, is this just kind of right. a, a souped up T100? There, there wasn't maybe as much clarity about who this is for. I think the T150, you know, even just the name draws a very mm -hmm. clear line in the sand. It's a player that maybe isn't quite looking for that T100, but wants, you know, a bit more workability than they would get from the T200. Sure, sure. So we're gonna have Mike lit some shots today. I've got a Project X LZ 6.5 shaft for Michael's uh, swing speed, and hopefully that, that works out today. But um, we're gonna hit a few shots with each. We're gonna line up the TrackMan data, and we'll tell you guys what the differences are in the data. So you ready to swing, Michael? Let's do it. All right, so Michael, we'll start with T100S. Yeah. Um, and to clarify again, 32 degrees aloft on that one and the T150 here. So I think initially, too, I'll be looking for your feedback on just what that club looks like. Um, sure. And then, you know, the feel, performance, things like that. And obviously, when we get the T150 in your hands, we'll kind of talk more about it and see what the differences are. In, in terms of look, the T100S, kind of to that, the point we brought up in the intro, it very much looks like a T100. Mm -hmm. and, and for a player like me that, I think that the, the 2021 T100 was maybe the most attractive yeah. iron in that class, so that that's definitely mm -hmm. not a bad thing for me. It is noteworthy that it's very T100e. It's yeah, not. It's right. not a clear difference from it, yeah. a clear departure. So that'll be something to monitor uh, with the T150. Yep. Okay. And so now for the people that might not know, I don't know how much we've talked about the clubs in your bag on the sure. channel, but what do you play for your irons currently? So I play Mizuno MP5s, okay. um, the seven iron, I think is about, I think it's about 35 degrees. Yeah. So it's, it's about, it's a, definitely more than this. So it's about a club more. So I, I typically carry that somewhere in the 172 to 175 range. Okay. Um, so that's a little kind of estimate there. Yep. First couple of swings, your thoughts? Uh, not my two best swings. Mm -hmm. um, very similar misses. Yeah, I noticed that. Um, solid carried numbers considering the the, the miss hits. Yeah. Um, and the the total distance is pretty hot. Um, 
Yeah, I know when you catch one, when you catch one good, that smash is going to go up and that ball speed will go yep. up. But, but if you're, you know, I expect you to get in the 180s when you kind of hit one, hit one well here. Yep. Same miss. That was hit solid though. A little bit better. Okay. How about that one? How's that one feeling? A little bit better. Yeah. Um, it's still just kind of that. It's still just kind of that same shot. Um, yeah. I'm because I I know you as a relatively high spin player, at least with your yep. woods and metals. I'm curious because you mentioned the lower flight. That one went a little bit higher, but yep. I'm wondering if. And, and it seems like a pretty minuscule change or difference, but I'm wondering if the T150 with a little bit more build to it, a little bit more weight down low, kind of packed behind the club mm -hmm. face and low, I wonder if that'll maybe increase the height a little bit. It, yeah, the launch. this is definitely lower spin and lower flighted than, than I'm typically used yeah. to seeing. Which again, that could, that's partially related to loft with the, what you're currently playing. For sure, but for sure. That's not a pre pier. That was a bit better. Yep. That's a good ball right there. You also do hit down on the ball really well. Like you compress the ball really well. So that's part of the reason that uh, that's kind of staying a little bit lower than like yeah. just under that 100 feet mark, which again, that's not a that's, bad thing. That know? right there is, yeah, that's kind of what we're looking for. That, that right around 100 feet, it would be, it's kind of ideal yep. for me. Probably that same one, right? Yeah, not look at that. Bad. You kind of, you're starting to sort of figure out the swing a little bit here. I know where you didn't, <laughs> I mean, kind of jumped in right away without necessarily a warm up per se, but. This is very respectable though. Yeah. I think your, 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 your trajectory has also been pretty consistent too. I mean, yeah. you're, you're swinging pretty, you know, you're, you're swinging pretty purely and the ball's kind of got that nice little baby fade to the right That's a little bit. That kind of three to, you know, 10 yard fade yeah. is kind of. Kind of your the your usual shot. shape. So this is yeah, it's very. Uh, it's nice to know you can hit your shot. That was another one that was hit really well. Ooh, look at that ball speed jump up. <laughs> Went after that one. Look at that. Yeah, no, that's there. It is. Uh, There's the baby fade. I mean, all right. Let's see here. We've got set. Let's hit one more, and we'll take sure. six of eight. How about that? Let's do that. We'll take six of eight with both clubs. Looks like a little bit of a miss here. <laughs> yes, it is. Just a little thin. Right, just straight off the toe. Oh, really? Yeah. I've been there before. So we've got eight. Let's take out, let's see. I'm just gonna go kind of based on like smash factor here. Sure. We'll take out this one, probably down here in this one as well. We've got six of eight here. So that brings that as your averages, right. 93 on the club speed, 125 ball speed, spin in the mid 5600s with a good consistency factor there, right? Where really you're consistent. Not deviating a ton, so pretty good performance there, T100S. Carry at 182, total 192, rounding up there, and there's kind of that consistent, you know, shot shape there. I'm gonna bring up the dispersion as well here. And so we've got that baby fade working, mm -hmm. and I mean, really, this is that first shot that. In reality, probably is also kind of an outlier, or maybe one that you wouldn't sure. necessarily count in a, in a fitting per se, but we'll leave it, I guess, for the sake of six of eight. But I mean, overall, these five are pretty close together out there, too. I mean, this is a pretty narrow landing area that we're using. Yeah. So this is, a, I mean, so far a good start here for a good bar, I guess, for the T150 to match. Definitely. Really impressive numbers, especially the, the, the distance side. Um, that's, those are, those are good, uh, mm -hmm. good carry and total numbers to see. Yeah. So, what I'll do now, I'll set up the T150, and then I'm also going to kind of give you the, the head for the T100S, um, and then I'll kind of have you compare and contrast the, the appearance of them, yep. right, and how they look at a dress. Perfect. All right, so Michael, now you got, we got the T150 built, and yep. you got the T100S club head in hand. So talk to me about visually any differences that you see. It, it's really just sort of everywhere you look, it's just slightly sized up, really, the T150. Yeah. You know, you look from the back, and there's just sort of, slightly square toe, mm -hmm. um, you know, kind of the, the, the back sole is just a little bit, uh, you know, enlarged. You see the top, a um, little bit thicker bottom. Sure. Slightly thicker top line. Mm -hmm. You know, every everywhere you look, it's just a little bit more room, which is just, you know, to our point earlier, just sort of adding that, just a little bit of extra forgiveness and, and kind of distinction between the T100 yeah. and the T200. 
Yeah, it's kind of like the T150 is as if, you know, you're on one of those muscle building programs and it's like, here's what you look like after like three weeks. You know, it's just a little bit, <clears throat> like a exactly. little bit more. Uh, but now I think I'm curious because I mentioned the theory a little bit earlier of, you know, it does this ex little bit of extra kind of size to it improve the launch and improve that sort of jump off the club right. race. I think that's what I'm most curious about here. Let's find out. A great first swing by the looks of it. Okay, all right. I believe that is the first time I've seen the spin go over 6,000 yeah. today. There's that 100 height number. Yep. A few yards of There's fade. the baby fade, yeah. That's, that's pretty much, <laughs> That's pretty much what we're looking for. That. Slight miss there. <laughs> Slight. But see, even the spin is still up. Yeah. That's kind of, that's interesting. Where was that miss? Was it? Just low toe. Okay. Curious, because that, I mean, it looks a lot like this, you know, maybe one or two misses from the last club that were, you know, a little short right and yep. a little bit lower maybe on, yep. in the height. But the spin stayed over 6,000, which is interesting. Another good rip there. And even that one, the spin is just a hair under 6,000. Right. A little thin. That one, some pop on that one too. There's that fade, a little bit more of it this time, but is there a, more of a sense of kind of, I don't want to say comfort, but like kind of a confidence, if you will, just the, the, the subtle increase in size of the club. Yeah, I think so. I think that's, that, that's a big part. Um, even just the general feel, Yeah. even with, you know, the added forgiveness and the added size, I, I think it still feels yeah. demonstrably better than the T100. Really? Does. Okay. A little bit out to the right, perhaps. Oh, that's not too bad, actually. Is it a little maybe open face or on yes. toe? Or? Definitely an open face. Looks like 3.2 degrees open to be exact. Oh, yeah. I guess we can literally see that information. I don't have to ask. But <laughs> I can't really lie. It's Sort of the golfer's polygraph track man. I think he corrected it that time. He also hit it really hard. God, that, ba that fade is still there. That yeah. was the one time I thought this one might creep left of the center line and then nope. Started left. Wow, we got a pretty good display here. Let's see what we got. One more shot maybe? Uh, two more shots here. Another slight miss hit. Could have fooled me. That looks pretty good. Is it a little bit low on the face? A little, little bit, bit, yeah. A little bit? Okay. I'm interesting, or that's interesting to me because the spin isn't really moving on you at no. all. Um, I'm really impressed by that. That's the thing to me that I'm really impressed with is that the spin, I mean, we got one shot left. But I don't know how much any of that, that would possibly change things, but the spin is a little bit higher, which is a, probably a good thing for mm -hmm. this category of iron. And it seems to be really consistent. Which the T100S also very consistent. This yeah. is just a bit more yeah. kind of in the window I'm looking for. Okay. Okay. So not your not your best swing there. No. But we have uh, our policy right. It's the best six or six of the eight. So we'll probably take this guy out, and we'll probably take this guy out, and then we've got our numbers here to compare. So. From the T100S to the T150, here's the numbers breakdown. There's, a kind of, again, the mention there of spin, right? So mm -hmm. we've increased the spin by about more or less 350 RPM, which is right. pretty significant, given that the loft is the same. Could that be related to the build? Maybe. Um, then we've also got a little bit more carry distance, but the total distance is pretty much the same. So yeah. you're kind of getting... A little bit more carry, but the ball's not... A little more stopping yeah, power. more stopping power. Right. Um, again, is that related to more weight kind of below and behind the golf ball? Perhaps. That's one theory. But otherwise, things are pretty are lining up pretty similarly here. Yeah. Um, you know, maybe the... You know, even... That's the other thing, too. The spin is actually lower with the T100S, despite your face being even a degree and a half more open. Right. So there's certainly something there, at least in this comparison head to head that there's more spin to be had with the new T series, at least T150 versus T100S. Yeah, I think you see the height as well. I mean, it's just that yep. extra six feet. Um, that that extra little bit of stopping power, I think is what golfers in this category are looking for, you know, mm -hmm. those those 
those back pins, you know, you can hold the green a bit better, um, even with, you know, longer irons. Yeah, right. And that's another thing too, we should point out that there's probably a lot of golfers that are going to be playing T150 either through the set, there's going to be some that might be playing it in the short irons and then maybe like T200 at the top, or you could have maybe someone with T150 long irons and then T100 short. A lot of combo sets to be made there with our fitting team in, in the fitting bay. So that's another thing to point out here. This is just a seven iron, obviously, but if you're trying to find the differences between T100S, T150, I think this table outlines it. And then I also wanted to bring up the map as well. And we can see a little bit of how that dispersion tightens there for yep. you with the best six of eight there. Um, this kind of string right here was really the, you know, that those four of six are really, really good shots there. And I could see how consistent that distance is. You had one that you club, kept the club face a little square that actually jumped up to 200 total. Yep. Um, where that fade was, I mean, it was a fade of a four foot fade. Um, but other than that, I mean, you got that baby fade working and I wouldn't go away from it, Michael. <laughs> That fades eat fillets. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, so yeah, I think the conclusion here is just a little bit more spin, maybe a little bit higher on the flight. Yep. The T one hundred and fifty. Um, but I think there's certainly something to comparable distance. Yeah, I think I think we both sort of agree with Titleist in moving the T one hundred and fifty or one hundred S category iron a little bit. And I want to say away from T one hundred, but kind of just more in the middle between one hundred and two hundred. Yeah, while it visually looks different. I think it, it gets closer to what players are looking for with this kind of iron. Yeah. And really you gain a ton without really, other than just the slight maybe visual pre preference for, for lower handicap players, you don't lose anything performance wise switching from the T100S to the T150. Mm -hmm. Certainly, yeah, I think, I mean, last thing left to say is golfers that might be interested in T-Series irons, the 2023 version, um, we fully endorse the T150. I think it fits in really well with that entire lineup from T100. T150, T200, and then 350. Um, there's all kinds of combo sets that can be made there. So schedule that fitting. Um, get in with one of our fitters here. We'll get you set up with a T-Series iron set that works for you the rest of 2023 and into 2024. So Michael, thanks for joining. Um, really good stuff today. We learned a lot on this one, I think. You got it. <laughs>